Edgar versus the Haunted House. And we are uh, going to go to page six here. The dull, wet, thumping sound. Let's see here. We uh, went to... Okay. All right. The dull, wet, thumping sounds cease as you enter the basement. There is quite a collection of fresh body parts down here. Ooh. It sort of makes you wonder if perhaps the house is not as abandoned as you thought it was. Nevertheless, there is a quite inviting door casually labeled Keep Out. That would be perfect for hiding copious amounts of wealth behind it. To enter the closed door, pick lock and turn to page. Okay, so we could go to the kitchen. We could enter the back room by picking the lock, basement two, and turn to page seven, or we could leave and, uh, yeah, it's just all a little bit too suspicious and unnerving, and then go to page 12. But let's pick a lock here right away. Let's pick basement number two lock. And uh, is this guy right here? It's a Dexter. Where's the key? So little, it sticks just a little bit. I don't know if it's maybe the wrong key and it's dragging or, or what. Or maybe the tailpiece is on a little tight. We'll see. Let's uh, let's put it in this holder here. A little, oops, not backwards. It's a little easier to manage if you put it in a holder. Did I put? In, I put that screw in the wrong, in the wrong hole there. There we go. All right, let's make sure this works. Okay. We put it in here to try it again. All right. Yep, just a little bit sticky, but oh, that is shining bright. Uh, let's try to go clockwise. Is a little bit intimidating. Those uh, looks like short key pins toward the back. Not sure what's going on in the front. I don't know where number one is on the key. There we go. That felt pretty good. There, that's a nice, nice little false set. Number one is definitely not set. Now it is. I think it's a five pin lock. There we go. Number four. I don't know. I don't know if maybe I was, oops, accidentally picking number three. There we go. It seems to have gotten back to where I need to be or where I was. Springiness in here. Okay. Deep, probably 
too deep. Number four, I do believe. Three needs to be raised that high. Oh, yeah. That felt really good. Feels like I only have one pin left. Go. Let me make sure I'm on the right one. I think it's number four. Oh, no. Got back to where I was just now. I went too far on three. Darn it. There. That took some lifting all the way in the back. Doing a little bouncing just to figure out what's going on here because I'm having a hard time telling what needs to be picked. I don't know why. Oh, number one was not set. Okay. Okay. That I do believe was number four. Thought number four was the problem before. Goodness. Okay. Oh, come on. Messed up. caught on. Let's go all the way to the back. Oh my goodness. That is so loose all the way around. something he's in, up on the tension a lot that's pretty incredible I haven't gone yet I don't know what to say. I'll tell everybody here. Oh, there we go. You know, I'm not sure if that opened up on two or one, but we'll see if we can figure out what was going on here. Oops. A little squeaky. All right, let's get this out of here.
Hope everybody's doing well. The weather's been crazy around these parts here in northeast Indiana. I need to mark that. Okay. Nothing that I see has been done. Maybe a little something on two. But everything had to be picked. For sure. And you know it's a six pin core. But it looks like only five pins in here. Unless I accidentally shoved a short key pin up into the chamber of six. We'll see what's going on here. Nice pins. Nice pins. Get my little holder here. Get a marker. Mark the front of this. And number one. Ooh, we have kind of like a little bit of a pointy. That's that's cool. It's a kind of like a pointy spool. Two. Standard. Over that really long bomb like pin. You know, there's a Oh boy, that did it. Left the shim in there. Not get that spring out, but it is definitely in there. There we go. Three. Got another really nice looking pin. Serrated with a little bit of a point to it. Four. Got a serrated. That's cool. Got steel spring. We will check number six carefully. Make sure there's nothing in there. There's nothing in there. All right. So it was just five pins. Five. Got it really nice serrated with a little bit of a tip on it. Reduced diameter. That's a really, really long spring. And it doesn't look like anything's done to the top. Alright, these are some cool pins. Okay, number one is a standard. Then above it we have this really nice kind of pointy, a little bit of a point rounded point uh, spool and a copper spring above it it looks like and this long bomb like serrated spool and a standard above it three serrated I would call that that's nice looking and above it it's a little bit rounded I'm surprised it gave me that much trouble it's serrated Four. Nice serrated. A little bit reduced around here to act spool like if you go too far. Uh, looks like a reduced diameter barrel. I would call it. Then number five. Got a little bit reduced diameter. Again. Short guy. And. A little bit of a T-pin to get you hung up that's been serrated, made out of a long, long key pin. Very, very cool. So, we will continue with the adventures. Might uh, take a look and see what we do next, real quick. Yeah, that's 
that's pretty cool how that lays. We don't need to really put this standard in here, but we will for fun. And here they are at rest. All of them very interactive with the serrations and the spools. So go into page seven. Uh-oh. There's a creepy lady holding a knife and maybe some papers or something. Apparently, the house is not as abandoned as you thought it was. I'm sorry, she says, but I have to keep them fed. As she rushes forward, you realize you have become free meat. Oh, no. All right. Well, we'll see what happens next. Looks like we'll be going back to the drawing board, or maybe next I might be picking another challenge lock by someone else, but we will have some fun, and I'll see you soon. Everybody have a good day. Be good and be well.